Hey, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Mikkel. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on the bell. Each time I drop in, upload a video, you will be notified. So turn on the bell. Did it ding? Turn on the bell. Turn on the bell. Turn on the bell. I hope everyone is having a day of I'm just enjoying that you are still here. I'm also having a day of enjoying that I'm still here. <laughs> I appreciate all the love and support. And thanks again for tuning in with me for another video. For today's topic subject title, it's going to be on, it's going to be about, it's going to be titled The Best Revenge to Get on Someone is to Expose Them. If someone is doing evil things secretly to you behind your back, if they're scheming and plotting against you, trying to sabotage you in any kind of way, it can be through witchcraft, it can be through, through slandering, making lies up on you, and slandering your name. They're trying to frame you. They're trying to set you up. They're trying to just sabotage you and they're trying to sabotage your finances, your know, witchcraft, and all kinds of black magic to make sure that you do not get a job and cannot get a steady income and cannot have no stability. They want you homeless so they can make fun of you. They want you begging on the streets. They want to make fun of you and laugh at you, mock you. They want to mock and mimic you. They want you down in the gutter. They want you down bad. Anyone that is doing these things secretly to you, they're your secret enemy. They're your friend of me. It can be family, friends, associate, associates it does not matter family friends associates it does not matter if, if you know that someone is doing these things against you if you know within yourself or found out from a good reliable source that this person is doing these bad things against you they're doing these horrible things to you behind your back, then expose them. Don't be scared and afraid. Expose their ass. Even if you think it for yourself, even if you just know within, even if you sense it and feel it in your heart, you got that gut feeling. You got the inner voice feeling. It's your intuition. It's your third eye that's trying to show you and tell you that this person is not for you. This person is against you. They oppose you. They're not for you. They are at odds with you. So, so trust your psychic abilities. Trust your instincts. Your intuition, trust what your higher self is trying to tell you and show you about this person. Trust your higher self, the higher side of you. Be clairvoyant. Trust your clam. Trust your clairvoyantness, and, and just even if just go with your gut feeling. Just trust yourself. Go by the inner feeling, the inner voice. Just trust yourself and still expose that person. Even if you don't have a reliable source as proof or no one that saw them do anything to you or no, one's, or no one heard them plotting against you. Even if you got the kind of tangible evidence for proof. So what if all you got 
is your inner gut feeling, the inner voice, and your intuition. So what if you only got that? Trust it. Trust the inner voice. Trust the inner feeling. Trust what you feel in your heart. Trust it. And still expose that person. Don't be scared. Don't sugarcoat nothing. Don't sweep the hot some things under the rug. You expose that person all the way. You expose them all the way. Just like I know my sister is doing witchcraft on me. And she's involved in my gang stalking. She put me on a gang stalking list. I can't prove it, but I got the inner feeling. I got the inner feeling about her. I trust my inner feeling. I trust the inner voice. I trust my higher self. The higher side of me. The better side of me. The wiser side of me. The side that's filled with so much wisdom, knowledge, understanding. The side of me that got so much good discernment and better judgment. Excellent judgment. Yeah, I trust my intuition. I trust my third eye. My psychic ability. Because a higher self, there's a deeper level of a third eye. Yeah. So I trust my clamboyantness. I trust all of that. I'm going by the inner voice and the inner feeling that's in my heart that I know is my oldest sister. I trust it. I trust myself and I exposed her. I exposed her to my brother. I exposed her. I exposed her to my brother. I let him know that she's a witch and she been doing witchcraft on us ever since we were young. And she still is no witchcraft on us till this day. She never stops. She never give up. She's an evil witch. She's determined to bring us down because she got to be ahead. And she got to have more than us. Be better than us. She, she's a covert narcissist. My sister is a covert narcissist. She top crazy. She got to be tops and the best of everyone in the family. Her. My sister is her and her daughter. My niece. They got to be tops and better of everyone in the family. They got to have more and be above and ahead of everyone in the family. And they're shady. Both of them are shady. Both of them are 50-50. They can't be trusted. So I'm very, I'm very skeptic about both of them. I'm very skeptical about both of them. I have a whole lot of skepticism about both of them. Because they're shady as fuck. They're 50-50. They're snakes. They're snakes. In the grasses, the secret witches. So that's why I exposed them. And they got me and my brother on the gang stalking list. They put both of us in this gang stalking program. So I know in my heart, so I exposed it. And I trust myself. I trust my higher side, the higher side of me, the better side of me. And I went all out. I didn't spare her feelings. I called her all kinds of bitches. Yeah. I cursed her out real bad. I cursed her out terrible. I called her all kinds of bitches. I said, fuck you. I was like, I told her I will fuck you up if I have to. I told her that. 
I don't want to fight my sister or her her. But if she can mess with me, if she ever crossed me like in the wrong way, face to face, if she ever say anything slick, crazy, and soft to me, and try to cross me in any kind of wrong way, I'm going to let her have it. I'm going to let loose. The beast is going to unleash out of me. I'm going to let loose. I'm going to fuck off and I'm going to let loose. I'm going to beat her ass. I'm going to fuck her up. <sighs> yeah. well, hopefully it don't get to that. So that's why I stay away from her. I cut her off. I don't want to be around her. I don't want to be in her presence. I don't want her around me. I don't want her or her daughter or just my niece. I don't want them around me. I don't want neither one of them around me. I don't want to be bothered with them. I don't deal with neither one of them. I've cut them both off, and that's why I stay away from them. That's why I totally stay far away from them. I exposed her. I didn't care. I didn't sweep nothing under the rug. I didn't hide nothing. I let it all out. I exposed her. I let it all out. Because, like I say, expose them. Expose them. If they're doing dirt to you, if you know dirt on them, if they're doing all kinds of dirt like, and shady things to you, expose them. Expose the motherfucker or expose the motherfuckers. And I just exposed her. I'm going to say it again. The best revenge to get on someone is to expose them. No halfway. Expose them. You expose them all the way. You go all out and expose them. You expose everything about them. Don't be scared of nothing. Don't take bullshit off no one. I take no bullshit off of no one. Never take bullshit off of anyone. Always stand your ground. Always be firm. Always stand up for yourself like a soldier. Yeah, so don't have to do nothing. Go all the way in. Go all the way in on them. You're supposed to approach them all the way. You're supposed to them the whole nine yards. You totally and fully expose everything about them. All that you know about, about their dirty deeds that they're doing to you behind your back. Just expose all of it. Expose all of it. Expose all of it. I appreciate all the love and support. Thanks again for tuning in. With me for another video. I will see you all again. Get my this video. Enjoy the rest of your day. Of just. Of just still being here. I'm also going to enjoy the rest of my day. Of just still being here. Let's just enjoy our day of just being alive, still being alive, breathing, and kicking. Well, love to all the chosen ones that's out there. I love you all. I truly and sincerely mean that from the bottom of my heart. My chosen ones, bye. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Turn on the bell. You see my drop in, upload a video. We'll be notified. So turn on the bell. Did it ding? Turn on the bell. Turn on the bell. Turn on the bell. This is your girl Mikkel. Sign it out. I'm out. Until next time, I'll see you. Well, love, well, love, I'm out. Well, love. <laughs>